yeah hi all so right now i am going to discuss about my upcoming project that will be on healthcare domain but it it will be suitable for few more domain that we will discuss in detail so let's start with objective of this course and one by one i will take you through all of these like uh, prerequisite and uh, what all going what all things we are going to cover in this project we will discuss in detail so starting from objective so here we are going to simulate one real world scenario where a solution architect will provide us document and based on that we will development team will do development okay so here as a developer we will use all the MuleSoft out of box capabilities and then we will select which one will be more suitable for our this particular requirement and we'll use that out of box capability for example like uh, to perform parallel processing we have batch processing also and parallel for each also but based on business scenario we need to decide which one will be more suitable okay so same way like we have multiple other component we will use to make our api more efficient and uh, throughput of our, our api will be better so all those things we will discuss during our project so here definitely we are going to use our previous best practices and previous experience to like um, make our api more efficient make you use of design center to create raml project and design raml specification and then uh, like we will use any point studio for development for deployment we are going to use cloud of deployment model so here we are going to follow project development lifecycle as well as api development lifecycle in project development lifecycle we are going to follow this agile methodology and for api development lifecycle we will follow standards what MuleSoft follow like uh, creation of raml then simulation then feedback and then we'll go for development we'll go for different kind of testing like unit testing and unit testing and slowly we will go for applying policy security then deployment on cloud hub and then how we can monitor our api and at the end we will see environment promotion also so all those things we are going to cover then here like we are going to create mule message flow making use of mule component and connectors on component and connector side like uh, we are going to use all widely used like a component or connector in term of component we will use scatter gather we will use batch processing we will use scheduler we will use choice router we will use on error continue on error propagate and rage error component also in this way like whatever component we are using very frequently all those components we are going to use on connector side we are going to use salesforce connector database connector file connector and then uh, like object store connector smtp smtp connector so in this way like uh, six seven connector will be involved we will use throughout the project okay development wise like if you will say complexity of our api then few api will be less complex few api will be moderate complex and few api will be very complex api where we will have some robust error handling and other things so as i mentioned like in testing side we are going to cover unit testing and unit testing both and at the end like uh, as a api developer we should have basic understanding of this uh, testing framework that is our j meter so that we are going to see for performance and load testing that also we will see throughout this session then at the end once everything will be done it will be deployed on cloud hub so you will demonstrate demonstrate this project okay so like then i will go through and i will review all the projects okay so this is our objective of this exercise so here main objective is to simulate real world scenario okay how we work in organization after joining after joining organization how you will get requirement how you will get uh, how you will start development after development what all is like activity you need to perform like uh, you need to commit your code on repository 
then you should have Jenkins pipeline to deploy your code from repository to any deployment model it can be cloud or on on prems then we will apply security policy then we will do different kind of load testing performance testing everything should be covered okay coming to course content like so what all things we are going to cover here as i mentioned here first we will start from requirement gathering then we will discuss about project life cycle discussion we will do in project life cycle like uh, we are going to follow this agile methodology okay and so we will do detailed discussion of agile we will do detailed discussion of jira like how to create jira story and all then uh, we will discuss about confluence then we will discuss about git repository like i will show you how to create account how to create repository how to give permission to other use other developer everything should be covered i everything we will cover uh, like a clone repository from center to local then how we can push code pull code everything will be there next uh, we will see jenkin pipeline okay once our code will be committed in git repository then for ci cd purpose we will use jenkin pipeline so i will show you steps like how to create jenkin pipeline okay and next we will create raml so by following this api development life cycle first we should create raml and then after feedback we will go for development okay so in design center we will create raml and then we will develop our api and we will follow all the best practice in raml also in raml also we are going to follow best practice for example we will create fragment we will create traits we will create data type everything will be covered there okay so for raml actually like uh, even if you are very beginner i will take everything from very detail and at the end of this session you will be very comfortable with the raml then testing side we will do unit testing then we will do integration testing then we will perform unit testing and at the end we will do performance testing using jmeter tool okay then code check in and ci cd that we already discuss then we will discuss about different deployment model so we have cloud hub on prems rtf so we'll, like we will discuss at least what all deployment models are there but we are going to use on uh, cloud hub deployment model okay environment side like ideally in industry like we should have dev sit uat prod and prod environment but here we will create two environment dev environment and prod environment okay and i will show you how to promote environment also then at the end we will do deployment on cloud hub and then we will apply policy and security policy and security side we are going to cover date limiting basic authentication client id enforcement jwt token okay all this http caching this policy we are going to cover and then yeah at the end like how you will explain this project in interview that also i will show you okay coming to next part like uh, first we will create this functional design document so let me show you okay so in functional design document like first we will brief about the project and then we will give some instruction about this document and then from here like uh, who who created this document so all those detail we will put so we will follow all the company standards only like our, in organization what uh, structure of document you will get so we are going to follow same structure okay then here you will get uh, start getting api detail project detail so here you will get business overview business benefit then here you will get list of api what all services you are going to develop and after that we you will see like how to create this api landscape diagram where we will follow this api led architecture we will have system experience layer process layer system layer so in system layer we will connect with external system it can be salesforce it can be database okay so our like updated diagram will come during our class so this is from some other project then process layer we will apply all the business logic and then experience layer which is, is responsible to connect with different different experience system 
so after that we will see flow diagram how like all this system and all these api are connected to each other that we will see through flow and then we will discuss about sequence diagram so like if you will discuss about any api or any functionality then we will see in which sequence this uh, api will be executed and will be called so here you can see like uh, we start getting detail of his services or you can say api so here you will get description of api then here you can see everything version v1 resource name this method <coughs> get and then we will discuss about objective of our api okay so here you can see this api will retrieve set of question answer from the sales position so in this way like uh, we will see complete objective of our api like a complete description of our raml or api then you can see here we have detail of header how many headers are there what all field rules are there which all field are mandatory which all field are optional everything we will discuss same way we will discuss about uri parameter and query parameter for few api we don't need this uri parameter and query parameter so here you can see this is any here body also since it's a get method so we are not passing anything in body so here you can see response structure what all response we will get and this is the sample example of the response then here you will get non-functional requirement like what will be processing type what will be sla what will be data size how many tps will be there service duration will be there so everything all the non-functional requirement will be here same way you can see like uh, one by one we will have detail of all the api okay so whatever api uh, most probably it should be like 15 plus api so all those api we will put and then you can see here we have data mapping detail and we have error handling detail so this you can see structure of error handling here you can see structure of this error scenario like what will be structure of payload we will pass message id code event id and error so in this way we will like here i have shown you like few examples like 400 401 then 404 500 okay so in this functional design document you will get the detailed documentation of all the api what you are going to discuss or what you are going to develop in this particular project okay so everything will be there inside functional design document okay so we already discussed like uh, we will have flow diagram so how many api are there how they involve with each other how it's interacting with external system or source system everything we will discuss in flow diagram same way we have sequence diagram and we have an api landscape diagram okay so everything we will have okay and in this particular project we are going to mostly work on this healthcare api okay so we will discuss about all those api like what all going to develop how they will interact with each other how they will fit inside this api landscape diagram or api led architecture everything we will do in detail okay now coming to schedule like uh, this batch will start from my month so this will start from coming set sunday i think that will be 8th of may okay so timing will be on indian time it will be 7 pm to 10 pm evening okay uh, this will be saturday and sunday there will be one doubt session that will be on the, mostly we will schedule either on wednesday or thursday but again it will be uh, sometime it will be on ad hoc basis also if something is very urgent then we can have doubt session on ad hoc basis also okay for con for registration you can contact me on this uh, whatsapp number yeah you will not able to make phone call so either ping me on whatsapp or you can call me on whatsapp on this number but yeah phone call will not be possible since uh, you will not able to connect me on phone so 
यूज व्हाट्सअप ओनली ओके नाउ सो हाउ मनी क्लासेस विल बी देर सो जनरली आई यूज टू टेक फॉर सिक्स वीक लाइक सिक्स वीक एंड सैटरडे संडे बट या इन सम केस लाइक इट मे गो फॉर सेवन वीक ऑल्सो एट वीक ऑल्सो सो यू शुड बी प्रिपेयर टिल एट वीक बट मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली इट विल बी कम्प्लीटेड इन सिक्स वीक सो देर विल बी सम लाइक अराउंड एट टू टेन डाउट सेशन ऑल्सो विथ वॉट यूर डाउट्स यू विल हैव यू कैन कम यू कैन जॉइन एंड यू कैन आस्क यूर डाउट्स ओके इट्स नॉट मैंडेटरी फॉर एवरी वन बट या इफ यू हैव डाउट यू कैन जॉइन सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी लाइक मैनी यूट्यूब वीडियो वेयर यू विल गेट सम आइडिया रफ आइडिया लाइक हाउ आई एम टेकिंग रियल टाइम प्रोजेक्ट एंड दिस विल बी अराउंड नाइन्टी एट परसेंट रियल टाइम ओनली सो हाउ वी विल we do everything in organization in same way i will do everything in my system okay and i have like i have uh, created all the setups and everything for like ci cd pipeline to for deployment also and other development tool what we need like jmeter all all required uh, tool i have set up with, with my system so i will show you everything For in short, I can say as a two year of developer, like two year of experience in MuleSoft, what all knowledge you should have, almost everything we are going to cover in this project. Yeah, if if anyone will have any other like uh, concern or any any new topics which we can introduce in our project, then definitely like uh, your suggestion will be welcome. so we'll see if that will be very good topic and we can adjust in some place to make our api more efficient then definitely i will take that one okay so i think i have given very high level overview of this project what all things we are going to cover and for contact like you can connect me on this number to discuss more about this project if you need and one of the most important part will be this like what all things we are going to cover so let me do a small recap so we will do requirement gathering then we will discuss about project life cycle so mostly like we have multiple multiple like uh, project life cycle model one is this uh, waterfall model then we have agile methodology but we are going to follow agile one since it's a more demanding in market and it gives you like more faster development and you you will get user will get like you can say end client will get faster experience of their system so what is going on and not okay so as a repository we are going to use git so we will do detail discussion of git everything we will discuss from account creation to repository creation cloning push pull then how to create feature branch everything we will discuss in detail then next uh, we will discuss about raml so we will create raml from scratch we will create a detailed documentation we have already detailed documentation by following that we will create raml okay and we will follow all the best practices like uh, fragment traits data type everything will be there then we will do development on any point studio we will deploy on cloud up we will apply all the policy and security for ci cd pipeline like we have jenkin pipeline okay so everything we will have and i will try to cover all the important topic like topic you can say all the important con component especially like this batch processing scatter gather then uh, error handling component we have so all those are very important component you should have very deep and good understanding so that all things we are going to cover through practical way so then definitely you will get better understanding of mulesoft okay thanks everyone so if anyone want to register so here you will able to see my number and you can reach out me on whatsapp okay fine thanks everyone